Here comes the Here comes the Here comes the Y'all don't really worry like What's up everybody, Double O Gaming here with the latest and greatest videos, and today for you guys we got some RCT3 Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, of course, and today we will be doing some more Superbia. Now, today is not one of those big episodes where I'm going to be doing heavy scenery, even though you see me doing this right now. Um, it's not like going to be super crazy scenery, there is going to be quite a few scenery pieces that we're doing, but we're not doing a roller coaster today, that's for sure. Instead, we will be doing fun little kid rides, and you'll see that in a second once I'm done fixing up some of this. What I'm doing right now, though, is making cool entrances to the ride just to finish it up. Uh, we don't finish the roof in this episode. I actually do that off screen, but um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Right now, you're just going to see us putting in all this and then putting in the pathway, and boom. Uh, I'm also going to make my own custom sign, and what I mean by that is... I'm going to put up a sign that says bank, and then boom. That's it. It's very bad. But, um, yeah, right now we're starting to make the path for all the fun little kid rides and games that are going to be there. Um, not saying that I'm doing an arcade. I'm going to put that somewhere else in the park, but not in this episode. Right now, you're just seeing us go through all of this and putting in a lot of detailing as we put in path work, that's that's our version of detailing. And, uh, yeah, we're trying to fix all this up, put this together. But, sadly, the game will crash. We're going to have to restart all of that. But then it comes out as a better pathway anyways. So, yeah, right here you're going to see it came out a little different. Because the pathway was changed. So, we have a smaller area, but it works out perfectly. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you will in a sec. And we're lining up that because that did not fit the same way as before. But we're changing it and making it even better. Right now we're moving this out though so we can get closer to Dark Adam. Which was another fun ride that I'm going to be showing a POV of soon. I want to add in some more scenery detailing before I do so. So then you get the full feel. But that will probably be out the same time some of my other roller coasters that I have not shown you yet will be out. So yeah. Stay tuned for that. So right now, as you can see, we're just looking around, we're trying to look at some things, get some inspiration. And then, finally, I decide that first one I'm going to put down is this one. Going to just place down a random queue area. And yeah, that's that one. And then we're literally just going through, I'm looking at rides that we have not put in yet. And um, making sure that I don't copy anything. And then this one looked like a pretty awesome one to fit inside the middle of that, because like... Needed something big, and that was big. Well, I think that worked perfectly for it. Alright, now we're just looking around. Again, checking out Dark Adam. We're trying to get some more inspiration. Looking around at other things. And, yeah. It ends up, like, really good for this whole thing, though. I will say, it looks amazing when you see it. I can't wait for you to see all the details that we do to this. Alright. Next area. Or not next area. We're, I forgot. We still got to put in some of our cues. And the cues, uh, we're doing this one a little unique. And you'll see why once we put something in there. Another ride that we're going to put in. We're going to make sure that first it does not uh, like overlap from the other area. But the one I'm thinking about doing is this one. And I have great names for all of these, by the way. But like we're going to put down this one. And we're going to make sure that like if we don't have it over in this area. So, yeah... Don't want it over there. We're going to have it over here. It's going to be awesome. And that is another ride put down. We're going to put it in a small little queue. Something simple. And then that one would be complete. It's pretty nice. Um, I won't lie. My game does crash a few times. So there's a few things that do get skipped. So sorry for that. Um, Now we're just putting in some more rides. Because this is the fun part. We're just putting in even more just trying to get as much detail into it as I physically can. And yeah, we're now just putting in more pathways to make something really nice in the end. All right, so now what we want to do is we're trying to name these rides. And I have names for all of these. This one's going to be 
Robin's flipping moves. So yeah. Yeah, it's uh yeah, it's Robin's flipping moves. And that's from the Batman series. So there's Robin. This one right here I had to think, but I kinda went with Actually, I don't think I've put down the name yet. I'm not going to spoil it. This one is the Batarang Swang. Yeah. It's pretty awesome of a name. This is uh, Mr. Fantastic's Cup of Joy. So, yeah, that one was also pretty fun. I love the names of these. Now, this one, I finally came up with it, and it sounds like an awesome name. You ready for this? I had to think. But I decided to go with Sandman's Tantrum. It's pretty awesome. So yeah, there's our rides. We tried to color them. I don't really know Robin's colors that well, so I put in probably some of the worst colors ever. That's all. Like, ugh, it does not look good. And then I decided to do this Batman one, and I decided to build some cues, but you're not going to see them. They end up going off screen. Plus, we're not going to start them yet. We're going to do something else, and that is tree work. Something that, like, this area really needs. I usually don't do a lot of, tr uh, like, thick tree areas, but this one really needed it, so I decided to do it in this area. So, we are just trying to work things out right now, and, yeah. <coughs> Sorry, I'm a little sick due to the, uh, time that I'm doing this, or post to the time I'm doing this. Um... But we're doing some tree work over here. We're working around certain ride areas. And it's going to make an awesome look. And you guys will love this. So now we're going around the whole area with the thick amount of trees that we're using. I had to catch a little bit of a breather before I started going back into it. Because, like I was saying, I was a little sick. So, and I still am a little sick. But now we're just putting more trees into this area than before. And, yeah, it's been making this awesome look. We have thick trees all around us in each area side of the park, and it looks amazing. So, yeah. Now we're just lining everything else up. It's got to look nice. It's got to look pretty. It's got to look worth it. So we're putting in some of these things in here, which are the... <coughs> they are the pieces of... Bushes that make it look like tall grass over where we're going. And I started to quit that because that's going to take too long. So you're going to see me just give up on that. And I'll do the rest of that off screen because I think it's going to look better if it's off screen. So like you uh, like you just saw, um, that was parts of the things that were skipped. But you might be wondering, why a castle for Batman? Well, honestly, <laughs> my logic between that was not very great. I was thinking Batcave and that, like... I was thinking maybe castle would be cave. That that makes sense, but it does look nice, so I kept it. This one is a really, really unique look for a ride, and I think this will be one of the most unique things I've ever built. It's extremely simple, but it's, it's like not, if that makes any sense. Uh and yeah, it it's it it amazing. It is to be amazing. So we're just putting up certain things right now. We're putting in the middle, which is going to have a weird thing. Uh, being realistic for a second, I'd have to imagine that water being stuck up there would be the most suckish thing ever. So I'd have to imagine there are probably pumps of some sort that would get the water out. So maybe I'll do a realistic episode next time and like make little features like that. And if you guys want to see that, let me know. Um... So right now, we're just putting in the little bell area at the top, which makes it look even better than before. And yeah, it's a pretty unique build, and we're nowhere near done with this build yet. Now we're just going around and putting things all around here to make it look even more realistic. It's going to look phenomenal. And yeah, we're holding everything up together, and uh, that is our final product right there. And honestly, I couldn't be happier with the way that looks. Now, I'm just trying to put things inside of it, and I want things to look nice in here. But sadly, that ain't gonna happen. And when I tried to put in these dolphin ones, they just did not look good, and they were clipping through the building. So I decided to cut those out, because those just did not look good. And I replaced them with something different. Something that you probably wouldn't expect 
be in there. And I, yeah. So I drop these down and I put these in here. They're little Coliseum things. These are just little views for little kiddos to go see and, I don't know, enjoy it. Um, now what we're doing is we are looking at our park. It looks amazing. <coughs> um, right now what we're doing is we're making the last building for today. And it's very simple, so I'm not going to talk that much for this. Um, oh, like, what we do is we just delete these, first of all, because we did wrong measurements. And we decided to drop this down to, so then we wouldn't have to do weird things to cover things up. And right there, actually, I kind of like that, so I might make that a fence of something. Because that would make an awesome fence. Let's be honest. And, uh, yeah, that's kind of it. Now all we're doing is putting in these things, and, yeah, we put these in, they look pretty nice, and we're just pushing these together, we're putting in some brick-like blocks now in the middle, so that it actually keeps that look. We'll be doing painting in the next episode, so stay tuned for that. Um, let's see what else. Now we're just trying to put some things in between here, and that's going to be the last thing we do for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of this video. Um, if there's anything new that you want to see, let me know. Make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, hit that notifica uh, notification bell if you want to see more. And I'd have to say, for the rest of this, this is Double O Gaming signing off.